Welcome back. I'm excited, man. I really hope that ends up doing well because I love watching uh, Enigma. This was one of my favorite heroes all the way back to Dota 1. Hmm? Yeah, I mean, they are indeed. Wraith King put on the wrong side of a fissure is going to end up falling here. Uh, mid lane. Hmm? Yeah, mid lane. Going on top of Echo here. But uh, rested supports TPing on in. Tank takes a lot of damage from that uh, plasma field. We'll be able to take down. Paparazzi grabs himself an arcane rune. They will trade one for one on the supports. But... Well, we'll see in a moment, though. Bottom lane. Oh, yeah. Trying to go on the Wraith King. Does go ahead and put a point in his reincarnation. Expecting to go down here. It will pop. DP in from the Disruptor. Tank will get that first stun out, but... Ava with the Spurrow Strike trying to make some space for his boys. Nice Fissure, but he's going to get pulled back here with that glimpse. You managed to get the Disruptor tank trying to still get out of here, but Clockwork trying to cut him off at the same time. He's managed to trap him. The worst hero to be stuck next to, and Nava underneath the tower will manage to get himself a double kill instead with the four points in the Sandstorm. Yeah, so Ooh. if you see a... <laughs> <laughs> Smoking up. Paparazzi wants to find the Wraith King. They get the second kill right away. This would be huge. Glimpse. We'll buy him a little bit of space, but Tank's like, sup? With the wraparound, Fisher comes out. It actually blocks off the stairs. He can't get out. Paparazzi. Blink it a couple seconds. Paparazzi Trying to get the with the stuck. Sonic Wave. He finishes it off. They're about to find out that Extreme is also smoked right on the other side here. Fissure comes out. The Tumblr Toy not in time, but a big static storm. Kinetic Field managed to trap down the Sand King and the Fissure. Gonna split this fight up a little bit. Echo wants to finish him off, but there's the blink reveal. Tank comes in, catches the Echo, looking for Ignis as well. Gonna give it on over to Paparazzi. Double kill for him. Hook shot through the clockwork, but he's alone. Another fissure block. The black hole only finds one on the high ground. It's just gonna be that Sand King. Wraith King trying to run away. Pig pole comes through Tank with the stun, but no real follow-up at this point. A three for one. Not even needing the Morphling for this. They have Hookshot available and uh, Disruptor as well to get the D Ward. The question is, can they actually start the fight? Paparazzi going to come off on the backside, jumps right in, gets the Orchid out onto the Disruptor, but a great Hookshot and Echo doing a lot of damage. He's going to go ahead and get the Aegis to save him for the moment. The Morphling does need to be careful as he comes in. Oh, he gets caught by the Silence, but there's no follow-up damage. They actually can't do anything, and Paparazzi able to get the kill with that Sonic Wave, but stunned up. He ends up paying for it. Clockwork trying to just zone out these other heroes here on Extreme, but the kill going to go the way of the Enchantress. Mm. TPing behind the tower is going to be the uh, Wraith King, but he's going to find DY. The flak damage as well, quite a bit. If he gets another crit, DY might just go down. He dies to the flare instead. Wraith King in a little bit of trouble, but the hookshot comes out. There's the black hole. He ends up catching two. Can they actually finish off the Queen of Pain, though? The Aeon just protecting her. She gets the blink out. Tank going to go down and Morphling still on the backside. Wraithfire Blast stunned up. He does have the Aegis still chasing after Zhao Fu. Will be able to finish off that kill. And now needs to be careful. Goss the Static Link in. Comes the Static Storm, though. Doesn't really connect onto any of them. The Wraith King Reincarnation is going to come through in a moment. Yule's buying them just a little bit of time for Paparazzi to get on out of here. That was such a sick Yule's there by Ava. That saved the Queen of Bane so hard. Oh, Wraith King. 10 seconds off that reincarnation. He has a BKB, but he doesn't get the opportunity to use it. 75 seconds sideline now. All right, bottom lane. Ooh, they're going to be able to find uh, Enigma mid before he gets the BKB off. Zhao Fu able to do it. He drops the black hole, but he just dies. Paparazzi snipes him, and now the thing you've been waiting for is not there. Echo doing what he can here, trying to take down one after another. He pops his refresher, trying to chase after them. But the static link, the second one instantly interrupted. The chain stuns are now coming back the other way, and he gets sniped. Two heroes dead for CDEC. I mean, I feel like you're going to lose two lanes of racks. I, like, there's no way for you to just to stop them on this push. He's still a little ways away from the static storm. Yeah, they're going to respect this enigma. They realized that he did have their refresher orb. Smoke up here from both teams. They're pushing down mid lane. The question is, do they know that the rest of the team is there? I mean, this is like the dream for the Enigma. If he manages to find him, Clockwork gets the vision, but the jump out from the Morphling. Jafu goes in. He only finds the Enchantress on the first black hole, but he's still got a second. D1 
DY manages to survive. The Sonic Wave comes through, and Zhao Fu hasn't been able to do much of anything. He goes back in, he pops the Black Hole. This time onto the Morphling, the damage. Can they actually bring him down? He waveforms out, they get nothing! Paparazzi will be able to finish off that Enigma and Echo now trying to chase down DY on the Enchantress, turning his attention on over to Tank. Ava jumps in, finds the Wraith King. He's gonna fall. And now Echo left here all alone, but will be able to TP home. Oh, and you always do have a way back into the game with Black Hole. That is one thing that Enigma gives you. Oh, he manages to find Tank on the Air Shaker. Can he actually finish him off? He needs one more auto attack. He gets saved. Glimpse right back into his hands, though, and the Wraith King just trying to fight 1v1 here against the Morphling. He doesn't manage to do it, and Ava bops that Echo Center, but his, B his blink got canceled. It doesn't matter. You lose the Wraith King. He's going to buy back in here. Ava, Aeon Disc gets proc. Zhao Fu doesn't have Black Hole for 30 seconds. Paparazzi hits him with the science. The BKB comes out anyway as he jumps in very aggressively. You'll lose the clockwork with a quick snipe there. Sand King goes down as well. A real scrappy fight here. Ignis, found here by DY, jump in on the Wraith King, trying to bring down the Enchantress, but the Black Hole comes in, they find the Morphling. That's the first one. Can they get a second one? The BKB, the second Midnight Pulse, the second Black Hole, they need to bring down him in time, and they've got the damage. He finally falls. Zhao Fu, he's waited all game for this. Earth Shaker, gonna buy the dust, big epicenter, Paparazzi, Sonic Wave in a couple seconds, trying to just take down the Razor, he will get it. Wraith King trying to TP home, but Yule's there to interrupt it. The rest of the team's gonna leave him behind. This is a dieback if he goes down. You can't afford to lose this guy. Sonic Wave, the silence is there, trying to hold his ground, but it doesn't matter. There he's dead, 115 seconds. The super low cooldown blink, yeah, he sees Zhao Fu. Flicker as well, yeah. yeah. Pops the BKB, jumps on in. He's gonna be able to catch him with that hook shot, and Zhao Fu will just TP out. Buy back on the Morphling, buy back on the Shaker. I mean, yeah. they know there's no Wraith King. You just end the game. Mm. This is the optimal play. Wraith King down for 90 seconds. No black holes available. Uh, they don't want to wait for this and give them the opportunity to come back in this game because the black hole refresher, honestly, it is scary. Uh, I mean, this is the same as you're able to play. It. It's an aggressive play. They're going to try to buy back here on the Razor, but there's nothing they can do to this. He's got an no old. That's like night. about it. And... It's not looking good. Jaofu goes in, pops the Midnight Pulse. They all just blink away. He's like, psych, I don't have a black hole. <laughs> They're going to be able to just stun him up. The Enigma, he's going to fall. Has buyback available. It doesn't seem like there's much left you can do here. It's Paparazzi just focusing down the base. Echo trying to steal what damage he can, but the GGs get dropped, and Extreme Gaming will take the first. Yeah, I mean... I did the best they could uh, with what they had. I think it's going to come down to how hard uh, Extreme Gaming... Uh, win their lanes. If they can just stomp uh, CDEC in the lanes here, then I don't think that uh, CDEC are going to have any potential to come back into the game. Yeah, a lot of this comes down to how hard Ooh. they're able to win these lanes. Nightmare top onto the Razor. Yeah, not a great start here. Paparazzi will drop the Astral just to make sure they get the space to bring down Zhao Fu and they give the first blood to the OD. All that extra gold. So. Bottom lane? Faces Void, getting chased down by Tank here. He gets him. All right, he commits for it. You just get ran down by the Wolves. And closer to this uh, Hum of the Dominator as well. He only needs another 300 gold for it. Ooh, River, Puck, caught by a Nightmare. Paparazzi comes in, finishes him off with one little Arcane Orb. Oh, yeah, very swift indeed. I'd say 15 swifter. Is that the correct number? Is that how that works? They're looking for Paparazzi yeah. behind this tier one mid, and the team gonna try and TP in to help, but Astral buying himself a little bit of time. I don't think it's gonna matter. They are just gonna surround him, and he will fall. Charge through from the Spirit Breaker now. Gonna connect on some more. Rupture holding Zhao Fu in place for the moment with the urn as well, but a lot of damage. They even just dropped the coil onto Tank. They're gonna be able to bring him down, and Zhao Fu will survive for the moment, but Bloodseeker managed to get the Spirit Breaker. Dude, he is yeah, fast. He, yeah, he's going to slow down uh, steadily as Razor heals up inside the base. Yeah, you just drop it on him when he's in the Chronosphere. Drop it on yourself when he's about to come out. He can get a Dream Point with it as well. Drawn to DY. Rotation in here from the Lycan as he pops that Wolf form. And Static Link, got to get broken, but just getting chased down here by the summoned units. The question is, will he be able to finish him off? He needs another clap in a couple of seconds. But 
Fortification comes out. We'll give him the flak. Avo does end up committing for the tower. Now stuck inside the creep wave. Nightmare will save him for a moment. And he even gets a little salve as a present. And Ava is off. It's Christmas time after all. It is indeed. Meanwhile, top lane, Paparazzi chasing after Ignis. And uh, he ends up dropping a really deep ward there. Sandy's Eclipse does come through. Still has Astral level 4 available. And uh, that will definitely be enough damage here to finish off the Grimstroke. Paparazzi picks up another kill. So instead, an Orchid allows you to just dump out more damage from the Arcane Orb. You're going to go in. Oh, the nice bash into another bash into another bash. And OD bashed again. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff. That's the stuff you dream about. Tank here getting chased down by the Razor. Just going to pop that uh, time lapse on out. And Tank... Pretty dang fast, pops the pig pole, but not fast enough. Finished off there with one last charge from the Spirit Breaker. They need to put this first Chrono to use, and DY, he's going to be the one to pop this smoke rotation here to the mid lane. Just going to go ahead and put that Grim Stroke to sleep. Astral's about to come through, and yoink, your uh, Chrono Spirit not going to do a whole lot, and it's just like it with the summons chasing after him. He gets coiled up, though, taking a ton of damage. Inkswell to follow, trying to juke it out, but it's not going to happen. They get the kill. He bit off a little more than he can chew, but they still end up finding the kill there onto the Grimstroke. Another strike onto the Bane. Tank gets a time lapse off, trying to run. In comes Bloodseeker, has Rupture. Paparazzi also in trouble. He's going to go and Rupture up Zhao Fu. Charge on through from the Spirit Breaker. Paparazzi still has a Sandy's Eclipse. He's going to turn around, get one quick smack there to finish off that hero, but can they actually find more Tank? He's got his eyes set on this uh, Razor, but. Now turning their attention on over. Oh, there you go. The Sandy's Eclipse comes out at perfectly timed. Allows him to get himself a double kill. That Sandy's <laughs> Eclipse plus the uh, Astral was enough to finish off that Faceless Void as well. Yeah, but that you know, requires uh, liking to be around. He wasn't you know close enough these last couple of times. Yeah. But Oh, Fiend's Grip mid lane right. comes right out and into the blood right they go. Faceless Void. And you get chased down here by the Blitzinger, or is he? He lives with 13 HP thanks to the coil from Echo. Holds him down, Nether Strike now grabs the OD, trapped inside an Inkswell. A huge fight here for CDEC. It's going to be Ava on the Lycan. He's got to do a lot of damage here, but I don't think he can do it alone. Um, And if you waste any of your abilities, and just been way too easy for CDEC to take the fight. There's the Dream Call committed under the Weaver, finally. Yeah, they will do it. Vision provided from the Spirit Breaker, and Tank will go down. Meanwhile, top lane. Uh, that's the Orchid reveal from Paparazzi. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he also desperately needs this uh, to be able to fight. Bottom lane, Orchid did catch the puck, but it wasn't enough to finish him off. He gets the orb oh, out. Okay. Tank trying to chase him here, but Paparazzi with the continued chase, and uh, they got Vision actually, thanks to this. Uh, yeah, Ward on the high ground. They get the kill. Uh, CDC heroes and expect to be able to turn a team fight. Oh, no. Ooh, they find Paparazzi. He gets the blink and he has an Astral, but he's just going <laughs> to drop it right there on the Spirit Breaker. DY going to enter this fight. The question is, can he do anything? He just fiends grips the face's void, but there's going to be the Chrono, but it's only really onto the Bane. Zhao Fu trying to stand his ground against the OD. He gets the Aegis, but he goes down in the process and faces void. He's out of mana being just chased down this Bloodseeker doing way too much work. And now looking for Echo on the backside. This puck, no way to really catch him here. It's a three for one. You get the Aegis from the OD. Yeah, he's just continuing to pressure these towers. The tier two top... He pops the drums. That black dragon um, able to tank uh, this up for so long. And... He's caught out the razor. Oh, he has indeed with paparazzi here. More than enough damage. Just drops the hammer and in mid lane you catch the spirit breaker. Rupture comes through. There's gonna be the chrono spear out onto the blood seeker, and it looks like finally the chrono gonna net them a solid kill there. So you end up trading two for one. Mid lane, they catch the grimstroke as well. Paparazzi. Blinks right in very aggressively here, and Tank should be able to finish him off here with one more auto attack. Coil catches the OD for the moment. He no has an Astral this, available, will use it, but the Bashes will find the Bane, and now Paparazzi oh, nice. come too far forward. Double kill for the Faces Void. Question is, can he get more? Oh, Ava. Onto the Faces Void. Time walks down to the low ground, but the Minus Armor, it's so much. 
Dude, that yeah. black dragon almost just crushed him. Weaver now charged up here by the Spirit Breaker. They have a dust. They just dropped the Nether Strike instead. A series of kills going the way of CDEC's way. It is okay against the OD, though, because uh, it does reduce his uh, Arcane Orb damage. Ooh, nice Astral from Paparazzi, but I don't know if the Weaver is actually going to get out of this. He buys himself a Yules, and all right, he's good. Nightmare from downtown does find the faceless void. There's going to be the blood right, but they've caught the OD. He needs help very badly. It's going to be in the form of a time lapse. The Chrono Sphere, though, it's managed to catch two. Bane, the first to go down. Bloodseeker protected by the BKB. Faces void. Still hit by this rupture. Will be able to time walk for a moment, and he's going to make it out on the backside of the fight. It's going to be them just chasing down the OD. He can't actually survive. They've done it. Mm. Well, maybe blink in one. Nah, not going to be there. All right, they have, in uh, fact, done it. Look, Top Neff. Uh, oh. CDEC, and we're seeing this happen over and over. The question is, if they can stall it long enough, it might be enough, but charge onto the high ground here. They find the Weaver. He just gets popped, and DY chased down as well. A nice bash there is going to be all that you need. Rupture still available, but Roshan falling low and fast. They need to get into the pit, and Lycan here providing a lot of vision. He goes in, pops the BKB, gets the Rupture out onto Zhao Fu. The Age is picked up by the Faces Void. Bloodseeker just bashed through it all, though. Cannot gonna, get out, and now you're going to lose the Lycan as well. A desperate play there. They ended up uh, trying to go into that Roshan pit without the helm of the Overlord. Uh, paparazzi, Paparazzi? Paparazzi just Never dropped know. the hammer. Puck did uh, pick, finish up the uh, Sanj, so he did pick up another sword for his repertoire. They're looking to go for the Bloodseeker. He jumps to the backside. He gets the two-man Chrono. The Weaver by the Fiend's Grip comes out right away. Silence there from the Puck. Well done. OD catches himself with an Astral. Weaver going to try and TP back in. He needs to be able to time lapse to save his boy, but it's not in time. He's going to go down, but buys back as well. Faces Void here still has the Aegis. The charge comes through. He's able to stand his ground. The Bloodseeker with the BKB. It's going to be expiring soon. Can they finish off the Faces Void? They do. The Sandy Eclipse gets a lot. Lot on the backside as Zhao Fu and Spirit Breaker go down. Time walk out. Spirit Breaker. Or Spirit Breaker, I'm sorry. The, uh, the face faces. is void. Oh, the smoke actually didn't get popped there somehow. They're looking for Echo. He doesn't get the Fiend's Grip. And now on the backside. Oh, he managed to catch the face void, but the silence. There it is. It blocks all three of them. And Bob Ronzi time lapse will buy him a little bit of space, but he just gets stunned up once again by the Spirit Breaker. Just going to do everything they need. Bloodseeker, can he actually find the kills here, though? Ava with the BKB doing some work, but the Weaver just gets crushed. This Faces Void is just doing an insane amount of damage, and the Bash comes through from the Faces Void once again. They're dead on four, potentially five as Ava trying to disengage here on the Lycan, but the chase never stops as CDEC going to wipe Extreme off the map. Right for tier fours. They're going to have to buy back here, but what do you have? It's just the Bloodseeker. It's just the Lycan. He does have Shapeshift in a couple of seconds. But we didn't gotcha. We didn't really see it do a whole lot in this last fight. They've got to find something. Charge through does connect onto the Lycan. And there it is. Silence on the backside. Bane just caught by a coil. Force Staff gets pushed him out, and that's a dieback. Onto the throne we go. Bloodseeker just completely controlled, and Neff... We're going to a game three, baby. Oh man, CDEC at the bottom of the group, but they managed to take this game off of Extreme, sitting at the top. Yep. A little bit of extra damage, and Paparazzi forced to uh, jump out of here. The Split Earth comes through, and Chandra's trying to heal herself up through this, but First Blood goes the way of Echo, and now Paparazzi has to orb. He will make it out in time. Oh. Now, Doom, he's going to send out the face boots. That, uh, at least he'll give him a little bit of extra armor as Ooh, well. So Paparazzi gets, gets ran down mid. Echo gets the level six. He does have the Hood of Defiance queued up. The question is, is it going to matter? He doesn't make it outside of the arena, and Echo is here. The chain stuns. That is going to be a dead Phantom Lancer. <laughs> Echo's actually turning around into uh, both supports here and tank. Gotta be a little bit careful. Inkswell plus the level four or level three edict is a ton of damage. Paparazzi is in here. Doesn't have the coil, but there's gonna be the shackles holding it in place. They're trying to split the damage, and they will end up getting the successful trade as they finally take down Echo. Uh he might. Oh, Phantom Lancer. Sure. 
Might be in some trouble. Snowball comes out. Will buy him a little bit of space, but there's going to be the arena. Comes through. They spear down the wrong illusion, but they still, they're managing to bring him down. The damage is there. The silence out. Dodged by the puck for the moment. The Doom drops onto the Morphling. Tank is here. The shackles connect, and without the Lash, you lack the damage, but here he comes. Echo trying to join the fight. Get on top of Ava Yules. Into the split, Earth will connect. You manage to catch the tusk as well. Spear, uh, I mean, the wards, they drop on top of Echo. He's just stuck completely. Paparazzi with a double kill. The Witchblade coming off cooldown will be able to slow down Zhao Fu. And there it is. Yeah, he will not, not be able to get away. And suddenly a triple kill for the puck going his way. And a fantastic fight for Extreme. He's about to have Fu. even more reach on uh, Shadow Shaman. Another 90 gold. He'll have his blink dagger completed, but they have to take this fight first. They drop the Hex, they get the Doom onto the Morphling. Snowball's gonna save them for the moment, but he's not the one with the Aegis tank. In some trouble, he's gonna go down. Paparazzi joined the fight, but of course they really wanna bring down the Morphling. That's the big kill, and they get him. Goes the way of DY. Question is, can they get more? TP out, Tusk. He's gonna make it. Doesn't know Zhao Fu is behind him. He's gonna run into the Morphling though, and he's gonna run instead. Oh! The face shift at the best possible time, and he is out. <laughs> when you're good, you're good. And mid lane, unfortunately, Leshrac, he is uh, not quite as good. Now, uh, getting chased down here with the Doom on top of him, and that is going to be a kill. Ava will try and just run away, but push up onto the high ground. Zhao Fu with the spear though, they find two return kills. Yeah, the fact that the tier one is here, I think, <laughs> means that they're bottom telling Bottom lane, oh, bottom they lane. caught the real Phantom Lancer, but Manta dodge. dodge perfectly, has a doppelganger as well, but he's just getting chased down. Will they guess which one is correct? He's going to DY, but there's going to be the stuns to follow it up, and he does end up falling in the end. Another split earth this time. Echo setting up a kill there for the Morphling. Question is who's gonna run into who or who's gonna find who first? Echo would be the perfect way to start the fight. They get him right out of the gate. The Doom doesn't come out and Echo gets the BKB off in time. Backside of the fight in trouble here. They're gonna be able to find Tuz, but the Phantom Lancer, he's gone in way too far by himself. He gets crushed and a quick two for two for one. Paparazzi still trying to chase after Echo. Yules, he's gonna blink into the base. Do it, he does, oh my gosh. This is the this is the most insane play by paparazzi I have ever seen. The E blade <laughs> snipes him. He goes down. They're looking for this Phantom Lancer's courier on the way back. But they drop the arena. Te Hex comes out right onto tank. Perfect way to start the fight. You got the Shadow Shaman and now Yules into the split earth. Phantom Lancer. He is all alone. Inkswell to stun him up, and they will get themselves two more kills here at this tier two tower. Honestly, Neff, CDC is going high ground, baby. I, and I think they're going to be able to go high ground pretty quickly. PL, he's forced to buy back this little late as uh, I've Scotty even more. And here's uh, more playing. How do they prevent this push, though? Oh, they're going to try and initiate right on top of him, but he's got an Aegis. The Doom doesn't really come out onto anyone. you got to target the Lesh here. Tusk will fall. Instead, they drop it on the Mars. He couldn't find a target before. He just gets bursted down from this Morphling. And so now, Shackles from down, down. They get the Lesh. Holds him in place just long enough. Paparazzi trying to find these heroes. They bought back the Doom as well. And I'm Mars, slow, it looks like he's going to live. Yeah, they slow down Morphling. He's got another wave for him to get out of here. The Inkswell will... Oh, he got stunned. Zhao Fu comes on over, but he walks right into three more heroes. Wait for him the other side. Morphling is going to force that die back there onto that Shadow Shaman, but he is fighting 1v4. Pops the Satanic, but the Chain Stuns are a little bit too much, and now he is finally out of mana, trying to take down Ava on his dying breath. It's going to be Tusk instead, and now it turns to the Enchantress. They actually just can't kill him. The Morphling legitimately just fought them 4v1. He stood his ground. If they had the Eye of Scotty, they might have been able to reduce his healing enough for him to, to go down, but all these heroes buying back. All Diabolic Edict plus the Morphling. You do have one more fortification for the mid lane, which might slow this down for a moment. Oh, they get the Hex onto the puck. He's dead, catches a spear. Paparazzi's out for 90 seconds. Mid will fall, turn their attention to top. CDEC might have defied the impossible. Neff, they might have taken a series off of Extreme here in their last tournament match, and they call the GG. They've actually done it. 
<laughs> oh, that's a that's an upset among upsets. CDEC, who had nothing to gain from winning this series, still going to be eliminated here.